Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a favorites video. I haven't done one of these in a while. This is my second one, um, but I do have a lot of different things that I've been loving lately and I wanted to share them with you guys. Not all of the items that I'm going to mention to you guys are like newer things. Um, there are some that I just have been using for a very long time and um, I use them on a daily basis pretty much and I wanted to share them with you because I mean the fact that I use them on a daily basis means they are my favorite. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please subscribe to my channel before you leave. We've been growing lately and I'm so so excited for it. So before you go hit the red <laughs> subscribe button down below. It's really appreciated and if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up button too because that helps me out a lot. And without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with my current favorites. All right, so we are going to start by talking about skincare first. And my favorite for skincare is this little guy right here. This is by Sunday Riley, and it is the UFO oil. This is an ultra clarifying face oil. And then I'm going to tell you guys what it does. I'm going to read it from the label right here because it's very nice and clear. Um, it says it's for the management and prevention of acne and blackheads. This is 1.5% salicylic acid. I'm going to tell you the reason why I love this little guy right here. Um, I love it because I have dry skin, but I have been dealing with hormonal acne for a while now. Um, for years, actually. <laughs> um, and so I always break out around this area right here. Sometimes right here too, like this... Um, this little guy you could see here but mostly on this area and I have never ever been able to use something before that's going to treat the acne because I have such dry skin and I rather have a little bit of acne than skin flaking off my chin um, but then this guy came around and this one has 1.5% salicylic acid but it's an oil since it's an oil it's not going to dry out your skin I have been using it every night religiously and before, um, if you guys want to like go back to my past videos and check, I used to always have breakouts right around this area. They have been slowly but surely going away. I still feel the tiniest bit of like texture right there, uh, but it's gotten so, so much better. And I not only put it in that area, I sometimes will go on my cheeks and my forehead too, just to prevent because it's not drying me out. The only thing I don't love about this product is the smell because it smells quite strong. So since this is my first step in my nighttime skincare routine, I will normally cover it with other things that smell differently so that it doesn't overwhelm me. But other than that, this stuff is bomb and the smell is not going to bother me enough for me to stop using it because it, it works. I only have two skincare products to talk about in my in this favorites video and the other one is also from Sunday Riley. It's this one right here, it's the CEO Moisturizer. Now this smells amazing. This is the nicest, like fruitiest, citrusy scent ever. Um, this moisturizer here has vitamin C, has vitamin E, and is packed full of antioxidants. It's a moisturizer that's more for normal to, um, to dry skin because it's a thicker one. Because it's thicker, it also works as a makeup primer. Now, whenever I use it, I do apply a primer um, anyways, but um, if you use it by itself, it does leave your skin feeling more smooth and really hydrated. I love, love, love this one. I've been using it at nighttime mostly um, as of right now because I have like my nighttime skincare routine in one room and then my daytime skincare routine I keep in this room for when I do my makeup right after. But I do love this one. If you're ever at Sephora and you want to try it out, I definitely recommend you do because this is an excellent moisturizer. All right, and I lied to you guys because I do have something else that's also a skincare product. It's this right here. Now this I use after I finish applying my makeup. So I didn't count it as skincare, but this is essentially a skincare mist. This is from First Aid Beauty and is the Vital Greens Face Mist. Um, this refreshes and sets your makeup. It smells really good. It has a nice fine mist. Not like the smoothest one, but it also doesn't spit at you. So the reason I love this one is not only because it refreshes and sets my makeup, but because um, whenever I finish my makeup, I sometimes feel a little bit powdery or overdone. And, and I swear this um, hydrates my skin to the point where the makeup uh, doesn't look as matte anymore. It makes it look a little bit more natural. Even dewy, I could say. I have it on right now. And it just makes everything look very, very nice and hydrated, and I really love it. 
uh, because I don't like to look matte. <laughs> now for reals, we are going to get started with the makeup items. And I'm sure those of you who know me know this one was coming. Um, this right here, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I have not put this down basically since I got it. Like I haven't reached in my palette drawer in like a month and a half now because since I have this I have not used another palette to do my makeup I'm wearing it today of course I'm wearing a lot of the things that I'm mentioning to you guys because I wanted to showcase them they are my favorite <laughs> so on my eyes today if you guys want to know I have this two shades of, as my transition shade this one is the highlight in the inner corner of the eye right here this one is on my crease I darkened up the outer corner with this one and then this is what's all over my eyelid and I popped a tiny tiny bit of this one right here like right in between there so yeah that's what I'm wearing today and this is what I've been wearing every day for the past again month and a half two months I don't even know how long it's been since I have this one but I'm obsessed with it and I think I'll continue to use it. There's just so many different shadows in there that it's hard not to like think of something that this palette doesn't have. I just don't feel the need to reach for anything else, really. <laughs> All right, and then continuing uh, on Morphe and Jaclyn Hill, I wanted to mention to you guys these three brushes right here. If you guys didn't see, I did a video on the Jaclyn Hill Favorites Morphe Brushes package. And um, I had used Morphe brushes in the past, so a lot of the brushes I have and I used on a daily basis. But these are three new ones that came to my collection, and now that I have them, I don't think I could live without them. Um, the first one is this one right here. This is the Morphe M504. This is a great brush for those days where you just want to do like a little bit of color on the eye. Very nice, diffuse, and just go on with your day. I normally will get either one of these colors right here or just mix them together and just do windshield wiper motions on the crease of my eye with those two colors only and um, and it looks amazing and I do it with this brush if I want to be a little bit less basic um, I get a little bit of a darker color so like something from this row right here and I add it a little bit less diffuse on the crease of my eye and then I go on with my day and it works amazing for that the next one I want to mention is this one here and this tiny little one is the M213. This one I could do the inner corner of the eye, you could do the highlight underneath the brow or you could do right underneath your eye and it works great for any of those like little detail works. I love this one. It's tiny, it's compact and it gets everywhere. Like you can put this anywhere around your eye and it will do an amazing job at any like precision task it really is an excellent brush um, and something great that you can have in your collection and then last but not least is this one right here this is the m506 now this one i remember watching jacqueline's video and um, she said it was great for like detailed crease work and that is not what i love it for i actually love it to smoke out the lower lash line um, and the reason why is because i never had a brush before that was as soft as this one to diffuse color underneath your eye. And I'm going to tell you guys why. These right here are the E36 and the E36. <laughs> These both the E36, but one of them has been discontinued, this one here. Um, and this is the one that they have currently, which is a little bit longer. You guys can see it right there. These are the types of brushes that I've had in the past to smoke out my lower lash line and look at the difference between them. This is a lot softer and a lot um, and it helps blend a lot faster. This is like the perfect blending brush for right underneath the eye. I have really really been loving it for that. So M506, wonderful brush as well. So, on to the next product. Um, and this one is one of those that has been on my collection for a while um, and I use it constantly, literally every day um, and I need to put it in a favorites video because obviously if I reach for, <laughs> for it so much it is my absolute favorite um, and it is this one right here now this has been so loved that you cannot see what it is but this is a um, the Stila Stay All Day Bronzer in Medium that is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. 
um, and I wear it pretty much every day. I mean, it looks it looks bad, <laughs> but because it's so good. So definitely, if you want a bronzer that is going to give you a little bit of color and is going to be easy to apply, this is a great one to check out. The reason I love it is because it's nice and buildable. And you're not, I'm never afraid to put way too much on and having to like take time to blend it down. It's one that you can more so build up and, um, and it always looks amazing. Um, so definitely check this one out as well. Alright, so um, now I'm going to talk about something that is new to my collection and it's this right here. This is MAC Blush in Melba. I have heard people talking about this blush for years and years and years and I had never picked it up. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and this blush is literally perfect. I am so obsessed with it. I have it. I've had it only for maybe a week and a half, two weeks, but I know that I have nothing in my collection that's like this um, and I've been using it every day pretty much since I got it and I've never been super into blush but this is definitely a really really good one I mean that just goes with everything I love it and now for a person who's never been into blush I do have another blush to talk about in this video um, this one right here this is the California blush by Benefit this is what this one looks like right here I never thought I was into like super corally blushes but for some reason this doesn't look corally on me like it does a little bit but it's not like orange um it looks really really nice and natural i have used it in other videos so you guys can see how it looks like on me because i'm not wearing it today i'm wearing melba but this blush is excellent and then we're going to talk about a highlight um and it is this one right here um again it's what i'm wearing on my face today look at how pretty it is now i don't know if you can see on camera i don't think you can because i'm not able to see it on my tv here it just looks yellow but this is a peachy um highlight that has a like pink reflect on um in it the pink reflect is definitely what won me over on this one i haven't i haven't seen anything like this before Basically, I had a um, MAC gift card laying around since my birthday, which was back in January. I've had a MAC gift card for like half a year. <laughs> um, and I finally decided to go ahead and use it and I got Melba, I got this highlight and I got um, a lip liner with it. But these two were definitely a great purchase. I have been loving, loving those. And um, now we are going to talk about lipstick. First lipstick we are going to talk about is this one right here. This is the Bobbi Brown lipstick in pink buff. This is what it looks like right here. This is not what I'm wearing on my lips today, but this is a great lipstick for every day. Um, it is hydrating. It does. It's not a matte finish lipstick. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Here you go. See, and I'm gonna do it so you can see it too. It's like really really pigmented it's a really pigmented darker nude kind of lipstick this will look great on so many different skin tones um, I have been wearing it for days where I just want something that's full color but still hydrating and it still looks glam but it's it's comfortable to wear throughout the day and then the others that I have been obsessing over are these right here, these are Bare Minerals lipsticks. They're liquid lipsticks. I have four different shades that I'm going to swatch for you guys. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a combination of um, Scandal right here, which is my absolute favorite one, and Infamous, which is a little bit of a lighter one. I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. This is the one I've worn the least because I'm not a super fan of red lipstick, but I wanna talk to you guys more so about the formula but these are the most comfortable liquid lipsticks i have ever tried i feel like i do very ugly swatches guys so i'm sorry <laughs> all right so this is what they look like right here the first one at the top is vip the second one is called juju the third one is candle which is my absolute favorite and then the fourth one is infamous they all um say that they're matte as you can see they don't they have still a little bit of a shine to them and they're more of a whipped consistency but i absolutely love them they give you full color and one swipe you don't even need to like dip in there twice to um finish applying it it's just a one-time application thing they last all day um i've even 
um, had lunch with them on and then you know like you lose a little bit of them in the middle of your lip but other than that they stay pretty pretty good um, and they don't feel drying at all now if you guys are liquid lipstick wearers you would know that all liquid lipsticks feel super dry on it's not a completely matte lipstick it has the tiniest bit of shine to it but it just feels so comfortable that I don't really care if it doesn't last 12 hours. I don't really want to have a lipstick on for 12 hours anyways. That's nasty. <laughs> so those are, I think, I would dare say that's my favorite liquid lipstick formula. Um, they have a ton of shades out. I wish they came out with even more shades because those are quite amazing. So if you haven't tried those, definitely check them out at Sephora or at, like a bare mineral store or whatever. They are definitely worth trying. Last but not least, um, this right here is my favorite too. Also wearing it on my lashes today. I didn't put any false lashes on so you guys could see it as well. This is the um, Voluminous L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. The color I have is black brown. If you guys saw my like first impression slash review video on this mascara here back when I got it, I said that the only thing the, the only thing I didn't like was that it wasn't as dark as my as the one I was comparing it to, but then I didn't know that they had different colors. So that was my bad. Um, I, when I go back to restock on this one, because I definitely will, um, I'll, I'll make sure I get the blackest black one. But even with it not being super, super dark, I'm obsessed with it. It gives my lashes so much volume, so much length, and it doesn't clump them together, which is a huge thing for me. Um, so this mascara is definitely worth checking out. This is a drugstore one. It's less than $10 everywhere, pretty much. All right, guys, so with that said, that is it for this favorites video. I hope you guys enjoy um, enjoyed it. I hope you got some info on some products that are really, really awesome. If you guys have other favorites that you've been loving, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll make sure that I check those out as well because I want to know everything that's good out there. Also, if you have tried any of these products that I mentioned here, let me know how they're working out for you because for me, they are pretty, pretty fabulous. That's it. I don't think I have anything else to say. Make sure you thumbs up my video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.